so uh, last time we talked about uh, masks for lithography you remember that the ruby lith part that you have to cut and all that cool stuff right so um, next part i talked about morris chang and i'm still not going to talk about him yet uh, but um, 1958 okay uh, so morris chang uh, he was doing i think uh, he was at harvard hmm? where was he originally during the war ha huh, china he was in china he went to hong kong came back to china, all that stuff and then he kind of eventually he left uh, and then he came to united states and then in us he uh, he was at harvard doing some but then that wasn't exciting so he went to mit and there he was uh, he was doing mechanical engineering that really uh, got him excited right so uh, after graduating from mit uh, he went to uh, uh, sylvania sylvania uh, is a company and then from there he joined ti in 1958 which is about the time uh, the whole action was going on right he was a really good engineer and uh, everyone in ti you know feared him okay feared him in a sense like um, every if morris chang happens to you then there is blood all over the place right so basically he he is he was very painful uh, in terms of being very methodical and he will put everybody on the spot type of person right uh, and um, uh, he so we had these issues at ti right you have to put these transistors together put the wires and um, one thing is to do an invention but the other thing is to do take that invention and make it like a product okay so morris chang entered to make it into production so his job was to improve the yield of these chips which was designed by ti me kon tha jack kilby okay good so um, i mean he would uh, he would uh, like pressure uh, temperature all these variables he would manipulate and then he would figure out oh this thing works at this particular condition very well so he was really good at that so he improved the yield of our chip uh basically whatever the chips they were making right and uh, the story is that he would be smoking pipe uh, like a movie story right he would be smoking pipe and there will be circles of uh you know smoke and he would be harassing all the engineers uh giving them hard time harassing in the sense like why doesn't it work that doesn't work but then he was the he was he's the one who's credited for uh, improving the yield of the process right so the, because that was one of the important things so they only one more slide i have basically the next person we're going to talk about is andy gro So uh, Andy Grove, where was Andy Grove in? You remember the original story? He was in during the war. He was in Hungary, right? He is from Hungary, and then um, uh, there, basically, uh, you know, Russians came over there, and you know, uh, they were going to liberate them from the Nazis and all that stuff. So all all that action happened, but he eventually he ran away from uh, from Hungary uh, because of the communist government. So he moved to again US, and he did his PhD in Berkeley. um and that was uh, in chemical engineering so andrey gorov was uh, from chemical engineering and he was desperate you know after graduation he was desperate to get a job at fairchild semiconductor you remember fairchild right we talked about it last time ti and fairchild they were in the ic business so they wouldn't give him a job they said that uh, oh you finish interviewing everywhere else because he was a young rookie just finishing school and now he wanted a job they said you go interview everywhere and last place you come and interview us and then around that time this action was starting they wanted to in increase the production and all that stuff so fairchild wanted to recruit a uh, big time so they went to berkeley and they told the chemical engineering people that hey give us your best people uh, to hire and they first person to land there was andy gro and that's the way the andy gro um, uh, landed at uh, uh, at fairchild and he uh, he was interviewed by gordon moore one of the person we are going to talk about um, and you know it was they uh, andy says that it was like love at first sight uh, and uh, since then you know we are talking about 1963 from then onwards for rest of his life they uh, these you know all of them so this is the picture i wanted to show you so on the left side we have uh, andy grow in the middle we have bob nice bob nice n o y c e nice huh? who's bob nice fair child the people who left from shockley's company and uh, the eight of them they they started a company called fairchild and they did the first you know they are credited with uh, integrated circuit uh, they did the silicon version and jack kilby did the germanium version and jack kilby's version was like mesas you know pieces of uh, you know transistors they were stuck on a substrate and then do wiring whereas uh, fairchild was doing planar process 
You remember that metallization piece that they saw, right? So in the center, we have uh, uh, Bob Noyce, and on the right side, we have Gordon Moore. Okay, and uh, so um, basically, these three of them are, you know, stalwarts, right? So uh, I just wanted you to see their picture, and um, uh, so rest of the story, I'll tell you next time. Thank you.